Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom of three kids, ages 10, four, and two. Today, we're gonna be talking all about wild math. Do you have a child who loves to learn with their hands? A hands-on learner who likes to tinker with things? They really grasp concepts in learning when they get to use their hands for some type of project or moving pieces around. Wild Math is a perfect program for these kinds of kids. I stumbled across Wild Math by chance on Instagram and I started researching it. I started looking into it and I didn't find all that many videos about Wild Math on YouTube. So I decided I wanted to make a video on it because I think that it could help a lot of people who are looking into this curriculum or looking for a hands-on math curriculum approach. So this program was written by Rachel Tidd, who is a mother and she also has a background in child education. She created this curriculum when she noticed that her son really thrived in his outdoor nature preschool that he was a part of. Did really well with concepts when he was outside. He could better focus. He loved being able to use his hands and nature to kind of connect topics of study. This program is a full math curriculum for an entire year. You can use it completely on its own. It's complete curriculum. You can also use it as a supplement, which is kind of what we are going to be doing. So last year, we used the Good and the Beautiful Math with Lee and she really, really loved the hands-on aspect of that math. This year, the Good and the Beautiful changed their math and they simplified it a lot and it looks like a gorgeous program. However, they took a lot of the moving parts and manipulatives and hands-on games and stuff away from the older levels. So we are using level four from the Simply Good and the Beautiful math this year with Lacey as our main curriculum, but I wanted to make sure that she still had opportunities to use her hands. The other important part of this curriculum is that it's meant to do outside. It's meant to use nature manipulatives, things you find outside, pine cones, stones, seashells, sticks, grass. Um, there's a part where they do fraction study and they make mud pies for the fraction unit. And it's very hands-on, very involved, and it's basically like playing outside while also solidifying and practicing math concepts. This program looks like it's very organic and natural in its flow, and I think that it's going to be a really fun thing to add in. I'm excited to use it. We chose grade four for Lacey. I went back and forth between grade four and grade five because there's not really like a test. You kind of just have to look at the concepts being covered in each level and kind of determine where your child will fit. I picked grade four because it goes through long division. Just started to touch on division at the end of the course last year, so she didn't get into long extensive division, just your basic start of it. So I wanted to make sure I started there so that she would be introduced and taught that way. Also, fractions is a big thing, and there's a lot of different concepts covered in grade four and they seem to kind of correlate with the level four for the good and the beautiful that we're gonna be using alongside it. So I can kind of pick and choose different units and different lessons to kind of add in just to give her a little extra emphasis on certain concepts. So when you're using this curriculum, you can use it as a full curriculum, like I mentioned, just use it from start to finish in order and it'll build a solid foundation. Or if you're supplementing, you can kind of go through and find the units that match up with what lessons you're using in your other math curriculum. Rachel is very adamant that you use this curriculum however it fits best for you. I know that it can sound intimidating to be outside that much and really like takes effort to kind of get all your items together, go outside and do the learning. She stresses that even in like unpreferred weather, you still go outside, you know, unfavorable weather. It doesn't matter, you just dress appropriately. That's something I'm trying to get on board with anyway is like taking my kids out even if it's raining, you know, let them play in the rain um, and then more in the snow because I'm not really like a snow person so I tend to really not go outside all that much in the, in the winter time. However, I think that this math could help us kind of do that and just kind of help us get into a routine of just being outdoors more. There's so many math concepts in nature just 
like in everyday things outside. And there was a lesson in math last year that Lacey did that was all about fractals. And it was all about the patterns in nature, the math patterns. And she loved that lesson and it really drew her in. I think that the nature aspect is going to really draw her in and really just kind of correlate with our nature study you know it's it's just like a really unique program i've never seen anything like it and they have like a math kit that you create with like sticks and rocks and all that sort of stuff and i just think it's really cool and it's really pretty and i'm really excited to use it we have not started it yet I'm kind of planning on just throwing it in here and there. I'm not really putting it on like a schedule per se. There might be a day that we skip the good and the beautiful and we just do wild math. I don't know, we're kind of just playing it by ear. But I just thought it looked really, really cool and definitely something that I'm excited to do. Okay, so now that I've told you a little bit about this curriculum, I want to give you a little bit of a flip through so you can kind of see what it looks like inside. Here is kind of the scope and table of contents that has all of the units that are covered in this curriculum. You have an introduction, which I find very important to read through because it really kind of shows you how this math works on a daily basis in everyday life. It covers place value and each unit also has a list of recommended books and recommended games. So these are like little math books, like math picture books, math reference books, and that sort of thing. And then games, like board games and stuff, because kids learn so much from just playing a game. Also, each unit has a end of the unit project, and they are different depending on the skills that are being covered. They have addition and subtraction review, multiplication, where they do a little bit of review, so they've already been introduced to multiplication if you're using this level. Um, and then it goes into multi-digit multiplication, prime numbers and factors, division, modeling and understanding division, and then long division method, area of division, box method division, division problems with a remainder. And then their end of the unit project is planning a celebration, which I did actually take a peek of this. And this is such a helpful skill for them to learn. Basically, they're planning a little party. And they can invite their friends or their family and they need to come up with a menu and what they're going to make. And then they have to come up with how much money they're going to need to buy all the groceries and ingredients to make the food. And so they're really, they're, they're planning. They're going through like lists and adding up uh, money and that sort of thing. Fractions. So then you go into um, part versus whole, equivalent fractions, common denominators, comparing fractions, mixed numbers, adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers, multiplying fractions. There's a large focus on fractions in this level. And decimals. Decimals with money, which is important. Um, word problems using money. And this is another reason that I chose a grade four is because it goes into money measurement and time which I feel like are a couple areas that Lacey has a few gaps in from public school perimeter and area volume time data and probability patterns and algebra so stuff like uh, number of sentences and parentheses and order of operation points lines and angles classifying obtuse acute right and reflex angles Finding unknown angle measurements, classifying triangles, um, angles and circles, circumference, lots of different things. Also, as a separate download that comes with this PDF is a planner and this has it broken down by weeks and by days and this is just like a suggestion of what to do each day which I appreciate and I find so helpful because I need a little more guidance um, than just reading this and trying to cover all of that it just kind of breaks it down into little tidbits and daily uh, chunks which I really really love obviously you can change this around and skip different things or whatever you want to do to customize it to fit your daily schedule but I do appreciate that she has that okay we're getting into the introduction so it talks about fourth grade math it talks about Rachel a little bit and it talks about how to use this guide she recommends 20 to 30 minutes a day four to five times a week she has a recommended list of supplies here 
which are really unique supplies. You will probably have to buy a lot of these, to be honest. Um, I didn't have a lot of these in my home, but it does look like a very doable list. It talks about how there's no right or wrong way to use this curriculum. You can work through it in order, or you can just pick and choose different activities for each math goal. Um, she talks about the suggested weekly plans and that you can use it in conjunction with another traditional curriculum if you would like to. If you prepare a lot ahead of time, then you kind of don't have as much preparation as you go through it. So like collecting the nature manipulatives, like creating a little math kit and that kind of thing. She talks about creating a math kit in this. So finding the sticks and the rocks and everything ahead of time and just keeping them in a box and readily available is very helpful in planning. Here she talks about the math kit on the go, and she talks about some things to keep in your little math kit. She talks about outdoor spaces. If you have a tiny yard or you live in the city, she talks about how to customize that. She talks about weather and how to be prepared for that. And then it gets into the actual unit. So it starts with place value. Um, it talks about the target skills in this unit and gives you kind of a, a rundown. And so you would pair this um, with the planner to make sure you were doing everything that it says and it's just super fun there's games there's just different um, like applications and different practice games and activities to do with them and I love that so so much okay so I'm just gonna give you a flip through she has some pictures in here um, which I like because it just kind of shows kind of how this program is um, like she gives so many ideas, like who would have thought to write on leaves of all things? I love the concept of just using flowers and leaves and dirt and rocks. Like, I just think that that's really, really cool. Here's where I was talking about planning the party. So, um, it asks lots of thought provoking questions and how they would prepare and like how much you money you'll need for ingredients and like all this stuff. It's pretty cool. How many cups and plates you'll need. Looks so fun. Here's where I was talking about how you make mud pies to do fractions. That's so visual. I love it. I'm just full of a bunch of nature activities and obviously depending on where you live you may not find a lot of nature objects and she gives alternatives to that too she says like for sticks you can use popsicle sticks it's okay like the actual um object doesn't matter as much as the actual concepts and activities so yeah that is wild math and i'm super excited to use it this year i hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this really unique nature math program um, you can go to their website and look into all the different levels that she offers she offers kindergarten through fifth grade she also has a program for reading called wild reading that looks really interesting and she just is like a really positive person to follow on Instagram. She gives you so many different like ideas and I just love it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.